we will see how to find out velocity of a point on a link by using the instantaneous center method suppose this is one link ab on which these are the two point point a and point b you are knowing the velocity of point a means its magnitude you are knowing and again its direction also you are knowing but in case of the point b you are knowing only the direction but you don't know the magnitude so here the direction you are knowing and its uh, sorry direction and magnitude here you are knowing only its direction right this the beta with this link uh, with ab this velocity of b it makes an angle beta but you don't know value of this point b so that we are going to find out by using this instantaneous center method now what we will do i will resolve this velocity of a along this ab and again velocity of b along this ab link now the component if we take if i take line this then it forms a right angle triangle so this is the front side adjacent side so this component will be cos of that component so you will get va cos of alpha this va along the line ab you will get va cos of alpha and if i consider triangle like this then again this is the front side and this is the adjacent side so you will get vb cos of beta now since the point a and b are on the same one rigid link therefore there will not be any relative motion between these two point these two points are on same link so the velocity of point a will be equal to the velocity of point b therefore we will equate these two velocity what it is va cos alpha velocity of point a along the ab that should be equal to velocity of point b along this line ab that is vb cos of beta now we will rearrange va and i will take vb in this side therefore va upon vb you will get cos beta divided by this cos of alpha now we will just rearrange instead of this cos i will put in terms of sin so sin 90 minus beta equal to cos beta and sin 90 minus alpha equal to cos of alpha so by equating these two i got one equation so this i will consider it as a equation number 1 now what i will do i will draw one perpendicular line to this velocity of a and again perpendicular line to velocity of this point b these two points will meet here this point and that we will consider it as a instantaneous center the meaning is that about this center this link ab it will just rotate so that is what the instantaneous center now if we see the angle so this is a straight line as this is a perpendicular to this this will be 90 so total 180 minus 90 then out of that this is the beta so this angle you will get the 90 minus beta and this angle you will get as this is the 90 and out of that this is the alpha so you will get the 90 minus alpha so here you will get one triangle a b i this is one right angle triangle again so this is the right angle triangle you will get now we will apply the lamis theorem so according to the lamis theorem what it is a i a to i this side and included angle between these two is 90 minus beta sin of that angle we will take so a i divided by sin of 90 minus beta then this b i opposite of that angle is 90 minus alpha so b i divided by sin 90 minus alpha so we applied lamis theorem to this triangle and we got this equation in this we will rearrange then we will get a i divided by i will take towards left hand side a i divided by b i and this i will take right hand side so this equation i will get so that is equation number 2 now if i compare the equation number 1 and equation number 2 the right hand side of these two equations are similar so i can equate equation 1 and equation 2 the left hand side 
right this is the right hand side of this equation is same so therefore i can equate this and this towards left hand side so now from equation number 1 and 2 what i will get va divided by vb equal to ai divided by bi what it is if i rearrange this va divided by ai then vb divided by bi and that is equal to omega what is this va that is velocity of point a divided by distance of this point a from instantaneous center that should be equal to velocity of point b this one divided by distance from instantaneous center to that particular point that is bi this ratio it will always remains constant and that is equal to the omega that is angular velocity of the link ab now where the omega is angular velocity of that is it link suppose if any another point c is on this link for that we can similarly use this what it is va divided by ai that is velocity of point a distance from instantaneous center to the point a that should be equal to velocity of point b b to instantaneous center distance that should be equal to velocity of point c from point c to instantaneous center distance and that is equal to the omega so what we said initially we know the velocity of point a and its direction but we know the direction only but we don't know the value velocity of this point a by using this equation what we know velocity of a we are knowing and from a to instantaneous center distance we are knowing then from b to instantaneous center distance we are knowing velocity of a ai we are knowing the velocity of b we are not knowing and b to i distance we are knowing so by this using we can find out the value of velocity of point b so thank you